Hey, it's Rob. Welcome to Axel's Garage. We are out here dealing with the low brakes in my wife's IROC, and there's a, a little something going on here. So, when we were swapping masters, right, two master cylinders, bleeding, um, going through everything that we could possibly go through, I did happen to touch the brake booster hose and realize that that hose wasn't on the end of where the check valve is real tight and it affected the idle quality and, and I uh, kind of played with it a little bit, played with it a little bit until it, it, it seemed to be okay. And I said, that that's like a, a crappy rubber hose. It's not a hose that's actually designed for brake boosters and they make special hose for brake boosters because that's a, a decent vacuum. Also, a couple people commented, could it possibly be the brake booster? And from all the research I could do, brake boosters just don't go bad like that. But, you know, it's usually a hard pedal when a brake booster goes bad, where you lose that power assist when a brake booster goes bad. Not that it, it works fine, but the pedal's low. But thinking about it, you know, could that be it? Could it be a problem with the brake booster? Because with no power brakes, when you have the car off, that brake pedal feels fine. It's it's high, it's good, it's, it's fine. It's only when you start the car up that the brake, the brake, just goes all the way down so I, I don't know um, but what I do know is that that hose is finicky it's the wrong hose and when you touch it it does create a vacuum leak and the idle gets all squirrely so I said you know what let's just change the check valve change the hose and let's see what happens now I just had the car running parked it here I pull the old check valve out and we should get a whoosh um, because it should be holding vacuum in the booster so that you have, uh, you know, two, possibly three uh, throws of the brake pedal with power assist before you run out of, of the vacuum assist. So I'm going to move the camera a little bit closer. Let's take that check valve out and let's see what we hear, if we hear anything. So when we pull this valve out, we should get vacuum. Well, the hose is going to come off easier. And I don't even hear anything. So this hose is real sloppy. I don't think it's actually brake booster hose. Um, let's see when we pull this check valve out. Oh, we did get it. Okay, so we did get it. I wonder if it's. I wonder if it's just so the check valve was working. I'm wondering if it had something to do with this this hose. This hose is hard, but where the heck does it go? Um, it's like sort of looped over the the throttle cable, which it probably shouldn't be. It probably should be down here going straight across. Um, let's find the other end of it. The other end of the brake booster hose is just below this piece here. Um, I don't know if it's got a clamp on it. was a rubber hose with a braid over it and electrical tape that went on there real real loose it might be brake booster hose it's a GM hose so taking the hose and putting it on here it's just not a, a snug fit at all that's what the hose says on it here. Let me see if I can show you. Don't know if this is brake booster hose or not. But what I do have is a new check valve with a gasket. And I'll link it in the description below, Robestus. And I have some gates. Power brake vacuum hose is what it's called. Made in Mexico. It's 11:30 seconds. Nice and snug on the brake booster end. All right, so I'm going to put the brake booster check valve in. I'm just going to 
take a little silicone grease just wipe it on the grommet just to help ease it in to position okay Doing this is completely blind. I'll take a little more silicone grease. Put the silicone grease just on the outside so I could pop this into the grommet nice and easy. All right, and our hose will come around. Something like that. I'll leave it a little bit on the long side. Let me get a clipper. Alright, so I'm going to clip it. Not right there. All right, we're gonna lay it in right like that, not hitting anything. brakes work just like they did they work well it's just that the pedal is low it's just more you know I'm sh my wife is fine with it the way it is it's just annoying me because the pedals low and I know it should be better um, you know when you put you in jam on the brakes the car stops the, the the front the front rotors make like a squishing sound like the, not a grinding it's a squishing sound um, I'm wondering if they just you know Maybe, maybe start throwing pads on it and see, I don't know. But anyway, it does run better. Idles nicer, runs better. There was definitely a vacuum leak in that, in that hose that didn't really fit on there snug. So glad I got that done. Check that off the list. Um, not part of the low brake pedal problem and we'll continue on with the low brake pedal saga. Uh, I'm still in the back of my mind. I'm thinking it's got something to do with those rear calipers with the integrated parking brake. I, I bet there's too much slop in there. I, I, I don't know. We're going to have to take them apart one day and look at them. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what you think. Ideas, suggestions, you guys have had a lot of them when it comes to this. Um, none of them have actually fixed the problem. But I'm, just some reason I'm thinking those rear, those rear calipers with the integrated parking brake. I'll bet that that integrated parking brake isn't adjusting out, which is causing too much slop in the caliper. And that's the extent of travel that we're getting. I don't know. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.